Hello, this cup of tea from a new water bottle. <laughs> now, the world is full of evil. Rapists, pedophiles, burglary, drugs, arson, robberies, <laughs> mob justice, and whatnot. <laughs> Sing a cup of tea back. Now, I don't want to shield for the police or for the criminals. <laughs> I just want to look at what works. Japanese style policing works great. With the community aiding and security of their land and their property. Also, having citizens that are armed helps too. So, no harsh weapons buying and uh, surveillance with the community. Robbers, and drug dealers, and criminals have to you know, find ways to circumvent this and usually it's with violence. Ooh, I've been black tea on that. That's good. But it's warm. And uh, so, yeah, police do an honorable job if they don't over full force, that is. Criminals have turned a uh, living and uh, be a part of gangs with their their honor system, which often means you can't you know, do sexual crime and the things of that nature. And uh, prison, and the gangs are isolated and you know squabble with them with each other. But the draw on drugs failed since the 60s. It's actually the prohibition and in the 20s in the states where alcohol was illegal. That only caused more crime and more. The, the illegals need to get in as something's been made illegal. The, the drink dealers start to sell it because it gets the notoriety and then it costs less than dollars and you have the crime of the drug addicts using force to obtain means to buy the illicit substance. And this can range from body parts to humans to drugs. And it only ends really when you have to remove the illegality of the the, the, the drug per se if we're talking about drug crimes. Now uh when the Silk Road was operating, which was this online market for drugs, uh, crime decreased and, o and ODing also decreased. It was safer to buy. But of course, that, that made you know the FBI and, and the police shut down the operation. <laughs> Pardon me, because he was making bank when they opened the Silk Road. And now we have this. Um, the years going in and making illegal substances and selling at a high price. Um, so you have to negotiate with the police. And uh, usually it ends in violence. The violence is the biggest trigger for changes. Um, it really depends on what you're doing. It's quite complicated human behavior, which I find fascinating. But crime itself is quite, it's, it's everywhere really. Even pirating a movie you know, on, on the net. I can't actually do that. But, yeah. Crime bad, log bad sometimes, good most of the time. But that's not generalized because some criminals are uh, you know, less violent. And then we look up forward to that. You know, the least violent criminals like Thomas Shelby won with his quit. So, yeah, pretty much that's it. You have to be a smart, charismatic crime criminal or a smart, charismatic law provider police officer. It's pretty much, you know, two sides of the coin, crime and the law. Some say the law is unfair, others say crime and criminals are unfair. When you clash together, there's a mix of law and criminals working together. Yeah, it's, just, it's pretty much a, a spider's web, really, when it catches and builds 